Hey guys, Gina here. A couple of weeks ago, I was at a yard sale and there was a huge bag full of Halloween stuff. And I poked my head in and it looked like all of it was pretty old, like 80s, 90s. And the guy was like, $5 for the whole bag. So I was like, oh, it was sold, five bucks? Absolutely. And so of course, I've got it here in front of me now. I'm gonna pull it out and show you guys what was in the bag. So the first thing that caught my eye were these guys. Oh my gosh, how classic is this? Oh, he's a jolly pumpkin. These are made of that thin plastic. If you guys can see that. There are a couple of tears and cracks, but I think we can give these guys a few more years of life. So there's the pumpkin. Here is a witch. Oh my gosh, look at this. I love these so much and she's in pretty good condition. I think her hat is a little bit munched. She doesn't really have any cracks in her, so that's cool. And this one was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know this one was in here. Cats and pumpkins. This one is so cute. And this one is in really great shape too. So those were the things that I saw. And when the guy said $5, I was like, those three things are worth it. So whatever else is in the bag is just bonus. These were in there, you guys. Oh my gosh. So I have to play it for you because it's my favorite sound. <laughs> This one lights up too. But there wasn't one. There was actually two. And that was a surprise. That was at the bottom of the bag and this guy works too. I don't think he lights up though. I love that sound. It never gets old to me and that's pretty annoying, right? <laughs> so what else as far as die cuts? Let's see, there were a couple of plastic plates. Those are cool, these Scarecrow guys. Oh my gosh, this was made by Berman Industries. I have a couple other plates made, from, made by those guys and they were originally $1.19 and down to 25 cents a piece. Then we have a ghost guy, but I've never seen this one. All mine have been pretty plain. This one is all colorful. Oh, lots of paper clips. But check this guy out. He is cool. Kind of scary, right? He's not as friendly as the other guys. Let's see if I can get his face out a little bit more. Woo! <laughs> and he's just one of those honeycomb hanging guys. Let's see, is this from the Bicycle Company? It does not say, but I'm assuming this one's from the Bicycle Company. Ooh, even his little hands. Then there was this Dracula guy. You guys know me, you know I love my die cuts. So check him out, how cute is he? Let's see if there is a maker on this one. There is not, so if you guys know, let me know. Is this bringing back memories for anyone? Then we have this ghost. It's pretty interesting that this ghost is scaring this ghost. It's quite unusual. So these were made by the Eureka Company. This one is also the Eureka Company. It's so funny too, because whenever I get die cuts from a yard sale, they always go, oh, are you a teacher? <laughs> no, I'm not a teacher, I'm a mom. And I love Halloween. <laughs> Here is another honeycomb cat. I've never seen this one either. So that's pretty cool and it's double-sided. We have a couple of big skeletons and I won't open all those up. 
but you guys have seen those before and I'm getting quite a collection of these so I think it would be really fun to just have a whole wall of skeletons but I love his face or his skull I should say <laughs> I love his skull this is the same one just a little bit different color but I think it's because he's sun faded because this side's a little bit better but this this is actually all taped up we have happy Halloween and this guy is he not awesome oh my word isn't he cute you guys he has a strawberry for a nose oh I love it so much oh man this has got to go on a doorway or something this year he is so precious little boots this is great this has to be the bicycle company yes but there's no date on it so if you guys know the date let me know please and there's more in the bag you guys five dollars five dollars for all of this I, I just can't believe it so this is just kind of like a random bag full of little stuff some of it's awesome some of it's just regular I think this <laughs> sad little spider was on one of those uh, headband things because it's got another one right here. So I don't know where the headband is, but they decided to keep the little wonky things. Maybe they decorated it with them somehow, but I'll probably give those to my son and he can play with them. I do have one of these, so now we have two. I like to set it with my McDonald's toys, but this is from Fun World and people do collect these. And these were really cool. These are little inflatable window suction cup things. <laughs> I don't know, they're just made out of plastic and you can blow them up, but there was the pumpkin, there's a ghost, and this one was really cool. Halloween's a scream. So that skull is really neat. But they all do inflate. I blew them up for my son. <laughs> I washed them first. Ah, and we have another Fun World little guy. Some flower picks. That one's really cute. It's a little scarecrow. A little hanging skeleton guy. I have a really old one of these. These are always fun. I don't know how old that guy is. Oh, McDonald McNugget guy, but he has no body under there, so there's no chicken nugget under there. But I may have an extra one, so. I'll look and see and then maybe I can complete him. Just a little pumpkin thing. Is there anything in it? Let's see. Whoa. Ah! <laughs> There's always a spider ring in these. <laughs> so that's in there. And a pirate patch. But wait! There's more! <laughs> I have one more bag of things that came in a bag, so a bag in a bag. But these are some Halloween wind socks. And there's four of them, and two are the same, and then there's two other ones, but this one says Halloween. Ooh. And then this one, what's this one? Is that a pumpkin face? Oh, it's a witch. Do any of you guys collect Halloween wind socks? Just curious because I know there's a lot of them out there. Here's the pumpkin or the jack-o'-lantern. I have a couple of them. I'm not sure whether I like them or not. You know, as far as collecting goes, of course I like them, but I don't know. It's just one of those things. Do you hang on to them? Do you pass them along? I really don't know. So are there any Halloween wind sock collectors out there? Let me know. And then, of course, there's the extra one right there. I don't know, you guys, for five bucks, I think that was a smoking deal. That it was a lot of awesome die cuts. Oh my gosh, those plastic ones in the beginning of the video were so cool. And then all the little doodad things. So yeah, I'll just, I guess, pick my favorite and then pass along the rest. Sometimes you guys ask me what I do with all the stuff when I get it in a big lot. And yeah, I do, I have to downsize. I don't have room to keep it all. It actually kind of stresses me out because I'm not used to having all this stuff. So I just keep my favorite things and then I pass along the rest. 
And I just had that huge sale at the Spooky Swap Meet, if you guys saw that in a, a couple videos ago where I did downsize like half of my vintage collection. And it felt really good to give other people some of that stuff. And some people have contacted me through YouTube. So if you guys are watching this and you guys just found us through the Spooky Swap Meet, hi guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for finding me on here. If you guys are new to this channel and you just stumbled across us, hey, how's it going? I hope you guys stick around. I have a ton of other collection videos, a lot of vintage stuff from other holidays as well. If you love the Halloween stuff, there's a bunch of Halloween stuff in there too. I'm looking forward to the summer, you guys. The garage sales have been awesome so far this year. It kind of started out slow, but it definitely has gotten a lot better. And I can only imagine as the weather keeps getting nicer and nicer, that people are really gonna start bringing out their stuff. So, and as Halloween approaches, people are gonna pull out their Halloween stuff if they're not decorating anymore. So yeah, if you guys, if this is your first time joining us, thank you so much for watching. Definitely go check out some of our other videos. We have a ton of content on our channel. Everyone else, I hope you are having a great day and we will see you next time.